generally a good looking character but looks mid when compared to the other playable characters This is in your judgment for like how the class stacks up to other classes. This is like genuinely like what you think that this is important. <laughs> PVE, should you play Awakening Kunoichi Black Desert? This is the first one I want to watch because like this one's for me. All right, so this was made five months ago because this is like the most recent Kunoichi content that exists. And... I also want to point out that all 56 Kunoichis upvoted this video. I'll give my take on it so far. Early game grinding on Kuno has not been super good. On Awakening Kuno, it is better. I think Awakening Kuno is good. It's solid. It's not the best. I would say it's middle of the road at best. I'd say it's just bang on the average. It's not good. It's not necessarily bad. At low end spots. We have not done mid end spots yet. Okay. He's going to put a bunch of text on the screen. That's it. I'll just move this up here. There we go. Uh, you need to remember and pump out a lot of skills as soon as you pick up this class. Yeah. <laughs> Beginner farm efficiency D. I was like, yeah, it's like basically average, you know, maybe below average because of the APM. But like, I'd say it's like B minus. I think that D is a little, uh, D is D for disingenuous. But like, hey, he's got more experience than I do. Don't expect to have a good silver per hour until you become decent at the class, which could take long, dedicated hours of learning and grinding. That is true. Easy to adapt? C. What the hell does that even mean? What, like, adaptability to different grind zones? I guess is what that means. I, I can't speak to that. I've only played it at like two grind zones and they're basically the same grind zone. Hey, give me my, give me my mouse. There we go. <laughs> what does that even mean? I will say you do need brain cells to play Kuno. It is not a class you can just pick up and drool on the keyboard. APM to become decent S. That I don't like this rating system you've done here. Uh, you should just write high here. If you write S tier, it means it's like S tier implies that it is good. Right? Like that implies good. That, that That's like good or bad. It's like a tier system. You, you need like low to high or like, or like a star system, bro. And, and what he means is that it's pretty high APM. I'm pretty sure that Awakening Kuno is higher APM than Succession is. I would say it's probably four stars. What did I give it? Hold on. Pause champ. Holy guys, we're the first. We're gaming. What did I Hello, give it? I want to see if I'm consistent enough. Where's the, where's the playlist? Oh, there it is. Hello, guys, and what? Uh, where's Kuno? Uh, there she is. What did I give Awakening Kuno? I would say off the top of my head, I would give Succession Kuno four stars and Awakening Kuno four and a half. Succession, I gave four stars. Awakening, I gave it five stars. Okay, well, I was pretty close. And that's based off of, like, the class leads. That's, like, Reezy, Frosty, and, like, the people that I consulted on the class. Like, that was their opinion. I was pretty close. Very combo-oriented, which makes random button mashing completely ineffective. True! I tried to do that. It's true. I tried to do that at Nagas, and I was like, man, this kind of sucks. 
Tamer's, Tamer's like this too. You can't just button mash on Tamer. Feels fun to play, eh? I agree. Agree. Scale animations and effects, B. I would say that they are mid to below average. Yeah, B to B minus. Can she smash randomly? No, she's more of a like, you know, like she, she, she mates for life. You know what I mean? She smashes, but not randomly. But if you're talking about button smashing, um, no, you can't just button smash. Woke Witch has combos in PvE. Yeah, it's Voltaic, Fisher Wave, and then do whatever the fuck you want. Wait, what was that thing you just said? Very high APM, very high effort, very high skill ceiling. True? Awakening Kuno will require your time, effort, and patience just to learn how to grind decently. Yeah, that's how I fell for Awakening Val. Uh, she has two skills that have decent effect animation while everything else is almost unnoticeable. Yeah, it's Wheel of Wrath and then... Like Shift F. Or is it? No, it's Lethal Spin Spree. Generally a good looking character, but looks mid when compared to the other playable care. This is in your judgment for like how the class stacks up to other classes. This is like genuinely like what you think that this is important. I'll be honest with you. I disagree. I think that Kunoichi is hotter than most of the other women in the game. I think that she is a tier in terms of looks. I think that she is. I think that like you have like a thickness tier list. You're like, let's just get the two out of the way early. We're gonna go S tier boys. Uh, it's Ranger and Dark Knight. Okay, right. Okay, like th those two are like obviously like the the go to thickness classes, right? Like thirst quenching classes. Guardian. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, if I. Uh, move my camera out of the way. We can almost fit her right down here. There it is. Um, I'm thinking Mystic is like here. Um, I think that what else am I missing? Nova, get out of here. Track, no, Sork. Mm. Lon, oh, true. Uh, the dumbass spamming shy. Yeah, so that's your first warning. Don't do, don't say dumb shit. Um, well, you know that Wusa is dragging the wagon under there, but I'm gonna be honest. This is where it sits. I think that this is I think this is where it sits. Uh yeah, that's your first warning too. Um and then I think that everything else is kind of just under it. Why is Guardian in F tier? Because she's a man, dude. Get the f out of here. Scholar? I'd say Scholar's in the C tier. Just overall, like, you know, like, this is like a thickness tier with like two Cs, bro. I think Scholar's like below average. Which? Which is probably B. Which is kind of mid. Which is kind of mid. Let's just be honest. Valkyrie? There you go. Um, Drac? I think that Drac belongs in probably D tier. I'll go class, bro. Like, to be honest, you, 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 you want... OK, 
okay? Like, I'm just being honest. Prozac underscore H just gifted five like, subs. Straight up more attractive. Okay? Straight up more attractive than a guardian. Don't care. Um. What other classes are there, bro? Nova? Mm. I would say Nova probably sits here. Nova's probably here. Maywa. Biggest boob slider in the game. Here. Um, I would say that Sork probably belongs at the end of this. I think that... I think Megu's hotter than Wusa. In that order. Yeah, Guardian's ugly, dude. Just straight up, dude. I can't. There's just no shot. But really, though, I think that Kudo's like above average. Whack tier list? Oh, Corsair. Oh, Cor Corsair's kind of a mommy. Um, Corsair probably belongs next to... She she probably goes like here. Um, adult tamer. Oh, that's a uh, prison tier. Yeah. Not biased at all. My dude, this is my main class right here. Are you kidding me? Like right in the middle. Like I said, which, which is kind of mid bro. Which is kind of mid. It is what it is. Realistically, Archer is not above Guardian. I would I would probably do a Guardian before an Archer, obviously. But like I think that and like realistically speaking, I think that Valkyrie probably just belongs here. I I still hold both specs. It's a dis disgusting. Disgusting. All right, did I miss any? I think we got them all. Why is this? We're literally sitting here objectifying virtual women. Of course it's biased. We all have different types, right? You tell me this is B tier right now. You looking at that? You tell me this is B tier. Nerdy lion, nerdy rabbit. Why do you, Why is your first thing you've ever said in my chat tamer? Bro, seek help. Um, that's your first warning. Holy shit. Shy, get out. Night cat is kind of, kind of goaded. Yeah, you're right. She probably mid, guys. You're, you're probably right. We probably wouldn't have sex with that if you saw it in a bar. You're you're probably true. That's probably true. Get the f out of here. And it's not the hardest class in the game. It is one of the hardest classes in the game, though. That's for sure. But you got more of these? Hold up. Succession? Oh, you got one for Sakuno too. Not if she's sitting next to DK. Are you kidding? If you walk into a bar and you see a Kuno and a DK sitting there. You're absolutely going after the Kuno because the Sage standing next to you is dating the Dark Knight. You're crazy. You're going after the second most attractive girl in the room. Set the f*** down. Requires good familiarity with the skills to be available. At low, APM, uh, low AP spots officially. True. I don't know why you're at Centaur. It's like the worst possible. I don't, again, I don't know if it's D necessarily. Silver power for new Kuno players is going to be low until they get used to her skills and cooldowns. Sorry. 
Blue, imagine a Zerk sits on you. I don't have to imagine they've been sitting on me for years. All right, fast play stock quickly runs out of mana and stamina. Can't relate. Have an infinite mana pot. Basic brain cells A tier. I think you need to be almost A to S tier. You gotta be smart. If you're really gonna play Kuno, you gotta be smart. Which is better for PvE, Sucker Awakening? Succession is generally considered better at the moment, but it kind of bounces back and forth. APM to become decent. Again, I don't like the tier list. You should do high or low. Even at low AP spots, you'll need a decent APM to move quickly from pack to pack. Please, stack to stack. Is this the wonderful... Oh, we should watch the Woo the winner. Oh, Cleric. Oh, you're right. We're watching that next. I, I agree so far, generally. I don't think she's that bad at low-end spots, but... Like, you just have to go to a, a low-end spot that isn't Centaurs or Gahas. Like, you need, like, Nagas and Fogans. She's actually solid. Very high APM, very high effort. High skill ceiling, high brain cell count. Yeah, I agree. These are well-edited videos. Succession Kudo is not an easy class to pick up uh, due to the high APM requirement for decent grinding. Yeah. I'll, I'll figure it out, though. I play Suck... If I could play Succession Witch in PvE, I could play Kuna. It's like finally going home after school, but you still have to cram school. You mean homework, dude? Like, I thought you said you had to be smart to play this. Smart kids do their homework at school. You're insane. All right. This is not just for Kunoichis. All right. I'm just going to say it. It doesn't matter what class you're playing. Ain't no class makes that much silver per hour, big dumb. There is no one that makes enough silver per hour to support you. Just like in real life. Class difficulty. Awakening, succession, <laughs> I think Awakening Corsair is harder than this. I think Awakening Corsair, if you're going to put a Suck Kuno in the A tier, I think it belongs in B at least, bro. That class is not easy to play. Su like, correctly. Succession Corsair, I agree with. Succession Corsair, I completely agree with. Oh my god, that's an ugly outfit. What are you doing? No wonder you think your class is ugly. You're wearing like golden knee pads. What are you thinking, dude? How are you supposed to suck any amount of dick with that? Jesus Christ. All right, the thumbs up. Here's a video right here. Give this a thumbs up too. Bags, gloves. Yeah, I don't, I didn't say that Kuno understood. I also want to point out wearing Autumn Brilliance. Because that's goaded outfit.